have you ever noticed these novelty CDRs that are supposed to look like vinyl records? It's quite probable you haven't because not many people buy CDRs nowadays. I only pick these up to demonstrate them here in this video, but I do think they look quite neat. Of course, this is the record side. You flip it over, normal CDR on the other side, but they even go as far as having a raised ridge on the record side that you can feel as you rub your thumb over it. But of course, there's nothing recorded on there. However, somebody had a similar idea 10 years ago that actually worked. On one side was a compact disc, the other side was a vinyl record, and they called it Vinyl Disc. And let's have a look at one. The format was introduced in 2007 and was only used for a handful of releases. The disc that I've got is the first one that came out by the group Fight Star. It's been signed by the group on this sleeve as well, and it's still in its cellophane. It's a CD single. We've got three tracks on the CD side and then a separate track on the vinyl side. Now, of course, because it's a standard CD size, that means the vinyl side of the record is smaller than your traditional 7-inch 45 RPM record, and therefore it's played at 33 RPM to be able to have enough space on it to fit up to approximately three minutes worth of music. Now, in the centre of the disc, there's a foam disc, which is blocking up that hole. We'll need to push that out to be able to play it in a CD player, but we do need to keep that because it's important. I'll show you why in a second. Now you can see here that the centre of the disc has nothing recorded on it on the vinyl side. It's only around the outside edge that there's any music. Of course, the CD side just looks the same as any old normal compact disc. Although it does feel a little bit thicker. Now the size of the hole at the centre of a compact disc is of course different to that on a vinyl record. And that is where the little foam disc comes in because the centre of that can be punched out which leaves a hole in that and effectively it gives you a little foam washer that you can put in the centre of the disc to make it the right size for going over the spindle on a standard vinyl record player. Now whilst I've got an automatic turntable I'll have to operate it manually because of course the disc is smaller than a standard record so it wouldn't put the arm down in the correct place so I'll need to manually place it down very carefully at the outside edge of the disc. <laughs> Unfortunately, the automatic return mechanism on my turntable was activated before the track finished playing, and that's down to the size of the disc. You see, on a standard 45 RPM, there's a bit of run-out groove before the end of the record where the arm moves into and then returns. On this tiny little disc, even though the track is recorded on the outside edge, some of that still goes into the area that on my standard record would have been in the run-out groove. So when the arm gets to that position, it says, hold on, record's finished and goes back to the beginning. So really, this tiny little disc would only work on a fully manual turntable. Now, as far as the compact disc side goes, well, there's nothing unusual at all there. It's just a traditional compact disc, put it in a normal CD player, press play, and it works the same as any other. Although I've got to say, this isn't really my favourite genre of music. Vinyl Disc was introduced in 2007 as a sales gimmick. They weren't even sure anyone would have a record player to play it on. I was wondering, would it be more successful if it came back nowadays, given the resurgence in sales for vinyl? I'm not too sure. I still think it feels very much like a gimmick. The vinyl side didn't sound very good. I think those grooves are very closely packed together. But the main issue I had was trying to get the stylus down at the start on the lead-in on the record. Because it's such a small lead-in, it took me a lot of goes to get it just right so I still think this is something that's perhaps best left in 2007 but it was a little bit of fun I hope you've enjoyed watching a video about it and as always thanks for watching